You know, Kiki Palmer is not throwing shade at R. Kelly. Uh, she had once said that she and R. Kelly, she said they was friends. She said R. Kelly had gave her advice and he had worked with her in the studio. Now, if I'm not mistaken, it's Kiki Palmer. When she came to Promise, she was a little girl. And she is a woman now, but she was young at the time of them meeting each other. If you get, if, 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 let me explain what I mean. If R. Kelly had a thing for younger women, or a woman of a certain background, wouldn't Kiki been, been, been an ideal fit? Did he, did he come at Kiki when they was working together? No. Did he disrespect her when they was together? No. But she said she's standing with her sisters. Then she said R. Kelly gave her advice and helped her out in her career. Now she's, she watched the doc and she automatically believed what was in that doc. But then Kiki, over the last few years, stopped running wild and saying and doing goofy stuff. Talk about she's a she's bisexual, then she's a lesbian, and get caught up in other drama. Now, Kiki is from the Chicago area, meaning she's from Harvey, Illinois. Now, she's been gone from the area longer than she lived in the area now. So she did all with all Hollywood and stuff. But Kiki need to look in the mirror. She did ask herself when she was with R. Kelly, did he do or say anything that was inappropriate to her? I mean, think about that for a second. If R. Kelly got a thing for disrespecting females, and young women at that, wouldn't Kiki be involved in that as well? Or she just jump on the bandwagon and save face? John Legend, Jada Pink Smith, Meek Mill, and Meek Mill, he need to, he, I don't know why he even made a comment. By the grace of God, he got people to support his ass when he had a long, lengthy career of doing dumb shit as well. But these people out there throwing shade at R. Kelly can't talk. But Kiki, you worked with him. You was in the studio. He gave you advice about your career. If he was up to no good, wouldn't he have come see? This is why I, I tell people, use logic and think about what you're saying. Did R. Kelly ever say anything or do anything proper around you? But yet, you believe some women that was old enough and should have known his man's reputation you grew up in the shot. You was young enough to remember the rumors about R. Kelly. But you just didn't stop you from working with him. But now, because you saw a documentary that was produced by a white man and a black woman, oh, it must be true. Kiki Palmer, you're a hypocrite, just like John Legend, Jada Pinkett Smith, and Meek Mill, and any other black artists out there who claim that R. Kelly is the devil incarnate. You watched a documentary about a friend. That's supposed to be your friend. If you were truly R. Kelly's friend, as you say you were, you would have got on the phone and said, Robert, look, I watched this documentary and I'm troubled by it. Are these things true? Because when me and you work together, I don't recall seeing you doing these things and acting this way. I don't recall seeing anything out of the ordinary. That tells you that she was an opportunist. That tells you that the people that claim to be your friends ain't really your friends. Because I want y'all to think about this again. She's a young black woman. Did she see or hear anything inappropriate while they work together? Did he come at her sideways? See, some of y'all are trying to stay relevant by putting your name out there and try to, try, try to get some press. But remember, she was going around, she shaved the head and everything, talking about, I'm bisexual and all this other stuff. We are not loyal at all as a people. If you think that R. Kelly is the monster that everybody say he is, why did you have to go to the press or go to social media to pr present that? Just saying, folks.